Hi there, thanks for tuning in FYG. I'm Hafiz and today I'm going to show you on how to fix Colin McRae Dirt CTD or so-called crash to desktop issues running on a new processor. Alternatively, for a temporary fix, you can actually go to your BIOS and disable your hyper-threading, install and launch the game. It will work just fine. But in this video, I'm going to show you on how to fix it permanently without disabling your hyper-threading in your BIOS. So first of all, what you need to do is actually to insert your DVD-ROM in your DVD drive, of course. So after you insert the CD-ROM, what you need to do is just to install the game as per normal. Just double click on your CD-ROM uh, directory or even browse it to look for the setup. So just install it as per normal. Alright, I'm sure I really don't have to run through the uh, setup installation process with you guys because I think most of you guys knows how to do this. Um, just to show you if I if you're not doing anything wrong. Alright, just let the installation on the default install on the default uh, location. It doesn't really matter because uh, we're not gonna tamper with the uh, any of the registry or whatsoever. We're just gonna be uh, changing some stuff in the game itself, and that will fix the crashes. Alright, so now I'm just going to let the game install. Now, it will take a while for the installation to be completed. So, maybe just go for a smoke break or have your dinner or whatsoever. And then when we come back, I'm going to guide you along on how to fix the problem. So, as you can see, we are nearing the uh, completion of the installation. Uh, let me just say something about the engine that is running on Colin McRae Dirt or even Dirt 2 or Dirt 3. They are running on Ego Engine. Now, if if you guys know, especially on PC, I'm sure you guys understand it, that Ego Engine is not really compatible with uh, hyper-threading processors because that engine was actually made for the Xbox 360. And therefore, on the PC side, it's not really good. And that is one of the reasons why Dirt 2 and even the first Dirt crash. But there is a fix for Dirt 2. I'm sure most of you guys know it, but for the first Dirt, there's not much known to it. So that's why I'm going to show you on how to fix it. So once the installation is almost over, you'll then be prompted out on where you want to save you want to save your game. So just choose your default location and click on yes and it will update the direct X. Just let it run. I mean, I don't really understand why they need to update DirectX because my DirectX already updated as I'm running Windows 8.1. But then again, you know, that's part of it. That's how the auto run um, should go on. So anyway, um, place a shortcut. Just click on yes. That's all right. We can delete it. And on this one, um, I personally never, never ever choose yes. So I don't really know what is this. But I don't care because it doesn't look good to me, so I don't want to install that. Alright, good. So once you have done installing the game, what you need to do now is actually to not to start the game. Don't start the game yet because if you have the Starforce installed, it's going to damage your Windows 8 because the Starforce there is not updated. So what you need to do now is actually to download the, the link that I gave you below. There are two links, both actually leads to the same file one is on my google drive um and look for the dirt pc patches all right you're gonna you're gonna just download that you know yeah just download it and the other one was on the one drive um look for the dirt pc patches and just download it all right so dirt pc patches it is so once you have downloaded that you'll be given uh, this dirt pc patches winrar uh, make sure you have your winrar installed and stuff like that all right so you're just gonna drag all the contents out now Personally, because I keep my desktop clean, so I can just drag it out and remove later. But you know, if your de desktop is messy, you know, you might find some other ways that is much more convenient. So anyway, um, for this one, it's an OpenAL installation. I recommend installing it no matter what. Even if you don't have a creative sound card, just go ahead because this may result in some sort of a crashes as well. Now, the, after you install that, the second thing that you need to install is actually dirt underscore one underscore two. This one, all right. This is the second one or actually the official first patch of the game click on next and let the installation run through i'm sure most of you guys also knows on how also know on how to install the uh, patches on pc yeah so once the installation is done you need to install the 1.21 patch this one this will be the last one so one point one underscore two or 1.2 then 1.21 okay this is the second patch that you're going to install and I'm sure again most of you guys know on how to install patches so I don't really need to tell you how alright so the last one is the 1.22 this is the one that will remove the Starforce okay um, this patch is a little bit weird 
I'm not sure. I think this is a last minute patch or something like that. So over here by default is going to be program files. So I'm sure most of you by now are already using Windows 8 or Windows 7 64 bit or 8.164 bit. So what you need to do is actually to change it change it to the program files x86 here now just in case if you install dirt on other locations then you might want to browse it and go to where you install dirt maybe in some other drives okay but for default just change it to x86 and then click on next all right okay so do you want to launch dirt 2 now all right this is where you're actually gonna try it to see if you are facing crashing problems so let's try it okay so once after you have created your profile um, at the start of the game what you need to do is just to launch the race don't go into the options or whatsoever it's not really gonna help all right just click on rally world or anything like that and then just click on race straight on okay and this will be the problem that you'll be facing that you will gonna be facing upon the default installation and patches of the game there you go dirt executable has stopped working all right so what you need to do is actually to follow my method and then it's gonna work so what i need you guys to do now is actually go to your program files code masters dirt where you install the game and in the installation directory you look for the word system this folder okay and then you open that up and you're gonna look for this worker two four Eight, all right you're gonna delete this eight worker map eight core okay the last one delete that all right now again before you delete it make sure you back up it if you don't want to but for me you know I'm just gonna delete it. I don't care if it doesn't work I'm not gonna play this game all right and then what you need to do sorry what you need to do after you delete that is go to the worker map four core and change it the number four to eight okay just change rename it and now we're gonna launch the game again excellent you're ready to go choose to race from three different categories rally world all right so here we are rally world whichever whatever you know just press enter spam your keyboard doesn't really matter the problem is the game is not starting so and now voila just like that and your dirt one works flawlessly again on your what windows 8.1 or it doesn't matter as long as you as long you guys are using you know i7 processor and then it's gonna be fixed for i5 and i3 check your manual if you have a hyper threading and if the game is crashing on there please do the same method it will definitely work for amd users i'm not really sure maybe it works the same way all right from there onwards then you can actually adjust any of the graphic settings you want <coughs> excuse me any of the graphic settings you want i and then don't worry it's not gonna crash with whatever you adjust okay so again thank you for checking out fyg fix on colin mccray dirt have a good day guys